Hey guys, Alden here, back with my quest to level 50 series here in Sunshine Island. And you guys will see I have managed to jump up a level since that previous video. I was level 38 and we have gained around about 2 million XP since that last video because I've been grinding fairly hard and I did actually collect all of my quests. So I spoke about this in the previous video, collecting these quests to complete the tasks you get over here in the season pass really, really quickly. And you'll see one of these was earn 1,500,000 XP. So I went ahead and I did this one really, really fast because I had all of those quests saved up. And this meant that I progressed actually pretty quickly since that previous episode. Right now we are in the middle of the guild tournament. So if we hop on over here to the guild island, if you guys didn't know, you can actually click on the tent here. It's going to bring up your guild tournament and you guys will be able to see where you are ranked. This of course is only when the guild tournament is currently running. But we have came up against some pretty tough opponents this week. I have to give credit where it's due because we have the Tiki Lounge at number one spot and we have Le Vachette, probably butchering that name, but it's a French team in at number two. Now we have actually played this French team before and we managed to beat them, but it seems, yeah, they've gone pretty hard this time around and they are kind of in a top two battle, them and the Tiki Lounge. We are kind of chilling down here pretty comfortably in that third position. We were going to try and push, but as we've only got 12 hours left, it's going to be pretty impossible for us to get around 200,000 points to catch up to these top two guilds. So yeah, massive shout out to those guys and uh, hopefully we'll match them again in the future and we can do battle. So I'm going to jump over here into my library and let's see what we have done. Okay, so in the production section here in our library, we did manage to complete only a couple of things. The first of which is the gold or bonus. We managed to get that up to level three. So I've got a couple of levels left on that. Definitely planning on doing probably this entire row. That's the bamboo, the gold ore, the copper ore, the bread, and the cup of coffee. And the cup of coffee is one of the other ones I have actually upgraded a little bit since that last video. I've got it up to level three. Two more levels left on this, probably gonna be one of the next upgrades I do because coffee is something I really have been struggling with because the bar takes up coffee and you need to make breakfast using coffee. So it is quite difficult to get enough of these. So this bonus is definitely going to come in handy. And actually, now I look at it, it looks like we do have enough to go ahead and actually upgrade this cup of coffee. So I am going to do that. We just have enough pens. You'll see I'm only going to have 15 left after this upgrade, but let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one. There we go. So that takes us up to level four, giving us plus six cups of coffee per coffee brewery, which is really, really nice. Our next one will get us up to plus eight. Eight. And over here in the delivery section, the only thing I did upgrade was completing the shovel bonus for the marketplace, maxing that out to level five, which is going to give us plus 25% on shovels, which is definitely going to help us out when it comes to our expansions. So moving away from our library, let's take a look at what we've actually done on our islands themselves. I did manage to get all of my fields up to level five. You can see they're currently all producing some carrots for me, but every single one of my fields are now up to level five, which has made a really big difference when it comes to running the carrot and wheat projects in the guild tournament. We do a lot of these projects, so pushing those levels on the fields as high as I can has really started to make a difference. And I'll be honest, the price increase from level five to level six, you'll see it right here, 220 hammers, 910 nails. Honestly, that's not bad at all. That is fairly reasonable. So getting my fuels up to level six is definitely something that's on my to-do list. It's not my first priority, but it is on there fairly near the top. I also went ahead and I upgraded two more of my cow sheds to level five. So you guys might remember this one over on the left hand side is the one I did for the quest. This one is up to level six. This one right here is up to level five. And this one right here is also up to level five. Five. Now the rest of them are still all at level four. So I will at some point get them up to level five. Probably not going to push them too soon though, because I feel I do produce enough milk and it's not really something I need to do that desperately. So moving over to Tropicalis, this of course is the second island we're going to be looking at. And I haven't done too much over here, but as I said in that previous episode, my main focus has been the coffee breweries. And we have managed to get 
every single one of my four coffee breweries up to level four. Now this has started to make a fairly big difference, but it's not as much as I was hoping for. However, the prices to go up to that next level are quite a big jump. You'll see it's gone up to 780 hammers and 2,900 nails. Now, nails are never too much of an issue for me, but the hammers I'm always struggling to get. I was really hoping to get them up to level five, kind of sooner rather than later, but I guess unfortunately they're just gonna have to stay at level four until I'm able to produce more hammers, nails, and so on. One of the other upgrades that I have made and I plan on doing more of is to my ostrich farms. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and click on any of these because I'm saving all of these feathers for a guild project, which is gonna be coming fairly soon. This one down to the bottom section of my island, this one down right here, I have managed to get up to level four. The two ones above that remain at level three and the one up to the top section here is still at level two. So I still have quite a lot of work to do on my ostrich farms and I know that most people that are watching these videos know how good feather projects can be because if we jump along here to its feather weather, you guys are going to see they give a massive amount of points during the guild tournament, especially if you have a fairly big boost like we do, you'll see it at the top left hand side of the screen. So. If you can run back to back, say two, three, even four of these back to back, it really is going to make a massive difference. So in our guild, we have been trying to upgrade our ostrich farms and I myself have been slacking a little bit on that. So it's definitely on the to-do list and we're going to try and get it done soon. So of course, as we did hit level 39, we had to create that space to get the food stand in, which we have now built. And I went ahead and I got an additional rice field. So we're up to three rice fields right now, which seems to be around about the right amount to keep up with the amount I need to complete tasks on the planes, on the ships and in the marketplace, but also enough to make sure I'm continually making enough over here in the food stand. Because of course you need milk and you need rice in order to make the milk rice here in the food stand. So right now I'm fairly comfortable actually over on the Jade Island. I've not really got too many big plans over here. I still have this house chilling right here that I haven't actually claimed. So if I click on this, what's gonna happen is I will get the population because this has been upgraded, but my happiness is gonna go down. And because I'm not planning on upgrading anything at the moment over here on my Jade Island, there's no point in me clicking this because all it's gonna do is reduce my happiness. It's gonna give me population, yes, but I don't currently need that population. So hopefully that makes sense. And it's one of the tips that I always say in all my videos, definitely try and keep your population count as close to zero as you can, because there's no point in wasting happiness just for the sake of it. So if you do what I've done here, you have enough resources and you know at some point you're gonna want to upgrade buildings, but you don't have enough population, you can actually upgrade a house and just avoid clicking on it once it's completed. And that means you've got it there and ready. You don't have to then wait on the upgrade time when you do need population. You can just go ahead, click it, and it's easy days. So moving back on over to Tropicalis, let's talk a little bit about what my goals are for future videos. You guys will see I have been pushing fairly hard on deeds and shovels. I haven't quite got enough to do my next expansion over here, but I definitely want to do Tropicalis first. Right now on Haven, I do of course, as you can see, have plenty of resources to make that next expansion and potentially even do another one after that. But honestly, I feel like my Haven Island is in a fairly comfortable place right now. I don't need too many extra buildings. I don't need to do many big upgrades. So I'd rather focus on other islands where I am really struggling for resources. And as I've said multiple times, I'm really struggling when it comes to coffee cups and one of the other resources I have struggled with is the Copper Forge. This has been an absolute bane of my life and it's something I'm hoping to try and get another one of fairly soon. But that is all I've done since that previous episode, so I've not got too much else to talk about. If you guys have got any ideas for other stuff I could do in these Let's Play videos, definitely let me know because in the past, I've been able to make loads of upgrades, I've been able to do expansions, build new buildings, but the issue is now, things are getting so, so expensive that I'm really not able to do that much in these Let's Play kind of videos and they've actually just turned into more of an update video on my progress here in the game. So if you've got any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Also, while you're down there, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe 
as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.